Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 8th of January. I'm James Spann. All the attention focused on the Friday, Saturday rain and storm event. We have the dual threat of flooding and severe weather. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look this afternoon. We have troughing over the northeast United States and a really dry air mass. What a beautiful day today. Now, we started off the day in the 20s in many spots. But we are in the 60s this afternoon. Feels great. Uh, Birmingham at 61. Tuscaloosa, 63. Upper 50s up in the Tennessee Valley. Around the nation, it's really cold up north. Temperatures below zero at midday over parts of Minnesota, North Dakota. But again, that air will not be transported to the south. In fact, we'll see highs in the 70s in here by Friday. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches in effect for parts of Missouri, Indiana, a few scattered winter weather issues, but things are relatively quiet today. No severe thunderstorms expected through tonight. Maybe some thunder on the Pacific coast tomorrow. No severe weather. Again, maybe some thunder from Texas up into parts of Illinois and Indiana. But things begin to rock and roll on day three, which is Friday. We have an enhanced risk of severe storms for places like Houston, Shreveport, Texarkana, Longview, Lufkin. The standard slight risk up into southern Missouri. That marginal risk runs through much of Mississippi. And then on day four, which is Saturday, we've got a risk of severe storms across all of Alabama, 30% enhancement for much of the state. And we'll talk about this threat in much more detail in just a moment. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The southeastern states, very, very wet. Again, this is the rain through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts between three and six inches for the northern half of the state. Needless to say, some flooding could be a problem uh, Friday and Saturday and maybe early next week as well. So let's take a look at the modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. Ridging in the east, troughing in the west. For us, we're dry. We'll call it partly sunny. We go back in the 60s. This is Friday, a deep surface low developing along Interstate 35 south of Oklahoma City. Severe storms likely south and east of that. And for us, we'll probably see some rain beginning Friday afternoon. But the day should be very mild. The high should be around 70, maybe low 70s in spots. Maybe some thunder by Friday night. But again, for Alabama, no severe weather Friday. The severe weather is off to the west. Saturday, trough lifting out, going negative tilt. Very good dynamic forcing. This is the GFS surface depiction. This is the European surface depiction. And I think the things we can clearly gather, number one, this is going to be a daytime event. Uh, the window for severe storms may be 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. It'll 6 o'clock in the evening. We'll be much more specific tomorrow. And uh, we'll check some of the severe weather parameters. First off, the wind fields are just screaming through here. This is the wind speed about 5,000 feet off the ground, the low-level jet, suggesting winds will vary from 60 to 80 knots. And uh, that's certainly one concern. This is the instability, and you can see, again, we've got surface-based Cape values in excess of uh, 1,200 joules per kilogram over parts of South Alabama, in excess of 500 joules for the northern half of the state. Surface dew points way up in the mid to upper 60s. Should be a very volatile air mass. And finally, this is the flash density product coming off the European. So, again, the daytime Saturday should be pretty rough with rain and storms. Storms could be severe. All modes of severe weather possible, the chance of hail, damaging winds, possibly a few tornadoes. And it's going to be a day to be very weather aware. We will be within that 60-hour window beginning tomorrow where the convection allowing models are within range. We get a much better idea of the small mesoscale features involved with this. But clearly the synoptic scale favors severe storms. And again, the rain could be heavy at times. There could be some flooding issues. So be sure and tell everybody you know... Saturday could be a rough day. Be sure people can hear warnings. Sunday, we're dry. No cold air involved in this. The high Sunday should be in the low 60s. Monday, the surface front comes back up as a warm front. Rain moves back in. This is Tuesday. We'll still have a chance of rain at times. Highs in the 60s. And Wednesday of next week, 
Got uh, troughing back in the northwest, and down below that, we've still got a moist air mass. So understand, we could see rain at times Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week with highs in the 60s like we really needed. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 18th, trough in the west, ridge in the east, and that looks fairly quiet with maybe some showers just north of here. This is the European, however, at the same time, and it's got a radically different solution. It's got some really cold air coming in here, but... Again, this is 10 days out. It's in the land of voodoo. This is a look at the precipitation for Birmingham coming off the European Ensemble. The mean, about 5 inches over the next 15 days. Spring-like weather continues. We could see 70-degree warmth in a couple of days through the middle of next week, then trending colder toward the end of next week. And again, we're watching this uh, teleconnection. This is the AO, the Arctic Oscillation. And that thing stays positive for the next 15 days. If we could get that negative below that zero line, that opens the door for some of the cold air to be flushed out of the higher latitudes. But for now, it stays positive. And this is the latest CPC outlook for the 16th through the 22nd. And much of the country below average, but down here in the deep south, once again, conditions favor above average temperatures. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.